Hello Aries, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, and future energies and how you feel about each other. So let's jump right in <clears throat> for Aries. Spirits, angels, guides. For Aries, please. What is coming their way in love? Aries, this is a general love reading. So will not resonate with every single person watching. Well, every Aries watching, I guess I should say. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If this doesn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Aries. I'll have it linked in the comments for Aries. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Could be that someone feels this isn't mutual. Oh, that one just wanted to jump. Oh, I got two jumpers here. All three. Wow, okay. Playfulness. Keep an open mind and it is safe for you to love. Bottom of the deck, calling in your soulmate. Keep an open mind and it is safe for you to love. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting a strange message. Um, almost like someone's scared to really put themselves out there. So they kind of play around instead of taking things serious. We'll see what that's all about. But someone's being told that it, there's, you know, it's safe for them to love. You know, be have an open heart and open mind when it comes to love. So let's get into this for Aries spirit. What does Aries need to know regarding love? For Aries. Okay, in the past position, we have the Page of Wands reversed. Your energy, we have Justice and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Currently, we have Five of Wands and the Six of Cups reversed. In their energy, we have the Six of Swords reversed with the Tower, wow. What's in the near present, or near future, sorry. Eight of Pentacles. You know what I got with this? Like something surprise. Your person's going to do something surprising or shocking. Um, but right now, there's some sort of drama with the past, or almost like um, conflict from the past that's maybe dragging into the present. We'll clarify that and see. But with the page of wands reverse in the near or in the near or recent past, sorry, I cannot speak English. Um, I feel like there's uh, someone that maybe wasn't serious about something. Maybe they kind of were stop and go, stop and go. Something never really took off. Someone never really took a risk. They might have, you know, been consumed by fear or not have the courage to take a risk to, to start something um or someone made a promise they couldn't keep here you know they couldn't finish something that they started so let's clarify spirit help me clarify For Aries. Tell me about this page of wands reverse. What happened here with this page of wands reverse? What's this about? Two of cups reverse. Yeah. So there could have been a separation here. Um, maybe just a disconnect. Not seeing eye to eye. Not being on the same page. Tell me more about this page of wands reverse. Maybe someone's actions led to a separation here. Four of wands. Yeah, I feel like this affected the stability of a home or something to do with 
Okay, I just heard that someone, uh, this was about moving in together for some of you. Obviously, that's not going to be for everyone, but Eight of Wands, communication, movement. Again, I feel like someone um, is, okay, so it could be that they're reaching out here. <clears throat> I feel like there's a disconnect at home, something to do with home or something to do with like the harmony of a connection. It's like, it's, it's kind of not, something's not doing well there. You know, there's an imbalance there. And then the eight of wands this is action, movement, communication. What's this eight of wands about? It could be that someone wants to communicate here. Tell me about this eight of wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Okay, so we have the Five of Swords reverse, another five. Um, so it could be that someone wants to talk about this. Um, maybe there has been some sort of failure, defeat here. Uh, someone possibly was trying to take advantage of a situation and wasn't successful. Um, someone could be wanting to reconcile. It could be you, Aries, because I have justice on your end here three fives so far so this is conflict challenges justice is libra energy now i have you here aries and i have your person on the other but you know it can be flipped but before i jump into your energies let's look at what's going on in the present here what's this drama about what's this conflict about why is the five of wands here spirit for aries the lovers Gemini energy. So this is conflict regarding a partnership. Tell me more about the Five of Wands. Strength reverse Leo energy. Look at these major arcanas. Lack of courage, lack of control. Can I get one more, please? For this Five of Wands. Wow, Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, this has been difficult. Heartbreaking, draining. These two cards are like, I'm thinking of someone drained, exhausted. Um, can no longer fight back. Um, maybe they're heartbroken at the way things have turned out, at the way that, you know, where the situation is at right now. And I feel like this is in regards to a partnership. So there's drama here. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. What's this about? Why is the Six of Cups reverse? More high, okay, the High Priestess. This could have been about secrets. Maybe there is a lack of communication. Tell me more about the Six of Cups reverse. Temperate. What is it with these major arcanas? This is crazy. Sagittarius energy. This is something coming together with a lot of effort. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. A lot of energy, effort, patience is being put into something to bring it back in balance. So I have the Justice card and the Temperance card here. Um, so I feel like someone's trying to fix this or work on this. But maybe there's still something that's not being said or um, this is being done in secret. Tell me about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here, Spirit? Why is the High Priestess here? Okay, Queen of Cups love emotion it's almost like someone needs to open up emotionally maybe they are not communicating their emotions or they're not opening up emotionally this could also be intuit intuition someone intuitively um, trying to deal with something from the past um, rebalancing themselves their emotional state take that as it resonates this could be you or your person Someone could be listening to their intuition here about making something work 
or bringing something back into balance. All right, so let's jump into your energies. What what are you guys, um, you and this other person, Aries? All right, let's get into this spirit. Tell me about Aries and this other person. Tell me about their energies at this time. Tell me about Aries and the energy that they're bringing to this connection. Tell me about Aries. Now remember what I said, Aries, I have you on this side, I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me about Aries. But to avoid confusion, this is Aries for me. Okay. Tell me about the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection. Divine timing, faith, fortune, destiny, trust in divine timing. Divine timing is involved. Something to do with timing here. Bottom of the deck, budding romance. New love, romance, courtship. Romance is in the air. New love. Romance and courtship. So I feel like something is coming your way in divine timing. Or perhaps there has been something that you've had to wait regarding this. Like you've been waiting for something regarding this person and it just hasn't been the right time. And you're looking for, you know, fate and fortune to be on your side. Tell me about this person that Aries is dealing with, Spirit. What are their energies? What energies are they bringing to this connection? Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. So this person has a lot of passion here. And bottom of the deck, broken silence. So this is, I feel like, the person that needs to speak up. Open up, be vulnerable, and express your true feelings. Um, I don't think they've done this yet. Um, there's less temptation desire. Maybe this person desires something with you. I just don't think that they're actually communicating that. I'm going to use this deck for your energies and this other person's energies. Let's clarify. Clear, concise messages. There's a tower again. This person, I feel like this tower moment will probably be some sort of shocking revelation. Something unexpected, sudden. Can we clarify these energies between Aries and this other person? Okay, let's start with justice. Why is justice here? Huh, the two of cups. Wow. So yeah, this is justice within a partnership. We have three cards here that came up with like partnership. Um, and I inst in instantly thought of two people, you know, partnership between two. The Two of Cups reversed, the Lovers, and now the Two of Cups again. And notice that the Two of Cups is upright, and that's because that is what someone possibly desires. Um, it may not be like that right now, but that's that's where they are wanting to head towards. Tell me more about justice. And by someone, I mean you, because I have, this is your energy here. Okay, get one more for justice, please. Judgment, yeah. I feel like you might want a second chance with this person or a revival of the connection here, a resurrection of a connection, maybe um, trying something again with this person. Um, maybe you've had some sort of awakening about what you want to do with regarding a partnership. Um, I feel like you want justice regarding a partnership. You have justice and judgment here. Can I get one more for justice, please? Eight of Pentacles again. The Eight of Pentacles twice upright. So I feel like you're willing to work on this partnership. You're maybe wanting to heal this partnership. I have the star at the bottom of the deck here. Aquarius energy. Um, wanting to work on this, put in effort. But with the Five of Pentacles down here, there's some sort of struggle, um, difficulty. There could be emotional distance between you. Maybe you feel like you've been abandoned or you've abandoned someone else or left someone out in the cold here. Why is the Five of Pentacles down here, Spirit?
Knight of Swords. Okay, so I feel like maybe there's not a lot of communication happening. And you either want to open up the line of communication or you're expecting some sort of communication from this person. Some sort of truth. The Knight of Swords comes quick. It's a quick message. This could be like an online message. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords reverse. So this is overcoming fear, overcoming um, a feeling of being um, overwhelmed, stuck. Uh, this is seeing a way out of some difficulty. This is uh, coming out of a mental prison that someone has put themselves in. Yeah, this is about um, someone being uh, fearless, um, not letting their fear get the best of them, wanting to be direct and honest here with the Queen of Swords. So there's something I feel like you want to say or communicate, maybe that you want to work on this. So let's look at your person over here. The Six of Swords reverse with the Tower. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Why is the Six of Swords reverse here for Aries? Wow, the Hierophant. Taurus energy, another five, by the way. Commitment, um, traditional, uh, someone that's very by the book. Tell me about the Six of Swords reverse. The Moon reverse. Yes, this is someone that's going to have some sort of revelation here. Pisces energy. Whatever was hidden underneath the surface is coming out. It's 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 someone that's this person's going to have some. They're revealing something here, and I feel like it's going to be unexpected with the Tower. Can I get one more, please, with the Six of Swords reverse? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords, fear, anxiety, stress, sleepless nights. This person's worried. Now with the Six of Swords reverse, this is a card that can mean two things. Either they're trying to leave a difficult situation and they're prevented from doing so, or are delayed. Um, this could also mean that this person is returning from some place that they've left. Now they're worried and they're worried about the secret coming out or the revelation that's going to come out here. Have the high priestess reverse at the bottom. It's almost like they're worried about how things are going to play out here. Tell me about this tower. Can get please? Why is this tower here, spirit? The high priestess reverse. Like, are you kidding me? Three cards about a revelation or a secret being revealed. Can I get one more please for the tower? This is a very concise, clear message. Wow, Ace of Wands. And then the chariot at the bottom of the deck. So it's like someone wants to move forward here towards a new beginning, a passionate new beginning, um, a new adventure. I feel like this is going to be very unexpected for you. Um, like a shocking revelation that leads to a new beginning between you and this person. And I feel like it's, I don't know. I feel like um, you're kind of mirroring each other, but you don't really know it. Because this person that you're dealing with, they have not expressed this. It's going to be a, a revelation, literally. Something's going to be revealed that you weren't expecting. So, I mean, that's beautiful energy. So let's jump into this Eight of Pentacles. What's this Eight of Pentacles in the near future about? Something might be requiring work here, effort. Ace of Swords reverse. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, please devil energy and the ten of wands so there's some sort of um burden here some sort of um weight uh that someone's carrying i feel like some sort of conflict it's almost like there's um someone's working on you know letting go of a difficult burden that has kept them bound here with the devil capricorn energy now, this Ace of Swords reverse is telling me, I mean, this is a card about um, 
It could be destruction, deception, conflict for sure. This could be a conversation that turns sour very quickly. Um, so I feel like this is someone that's actively working on whatever is keeping them weighed down. Now that could be you or this other person. So what this is telling me is that there's still some work to be done here. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the three of pentacles. So li literally work. There's work that needs to be done um, in the near future. Uh, all right. So I'm very curious to know what is this person's headspace, you know? Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading resonated for you. I hope you got something out of it. Leave me a comment if it did resonate. I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to support the channel for free, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, um, just to let me know that you're enjoying the readings and it helps the channel grow. So that's always great so that more people can get these messages. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.